Hi, welcome to uh, Lessons with John. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, Emma suggested we should do Love Stinks, and that's what we're going to do for Valentine's Day. So, for all of you that don't have a date, love does stink, huh? Alright, we're going to try it. Uh, here are the chords you need. You can do different chords if you like, but uh, the C chord that I think is most useful is... That's your intro, they do it four times in a row. My C chord, I'm going to bar the whole 8th fret, 3rd string, 9th uh, fret, 5th and 4th string at the 10th fret. And really, I'm not going to play the high notes too much. I'm kind of focused on those low notes. And here's my G chord, 10th uh, fret, 5th string, and then on my 4, 3, and 2 strings at the 12th fret, I'm going to bar with my 3rd finger. My first finger is going to be shoved up into that sixth string to mute it. My third finger plays on such an angle that the first string gets muted. So, the, see that? There we go. Alright, and that's going to probably be an up down. Or maybe I'll do downs, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just do two downs on that. So, down, 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 down. The rhythm's kind of, you know, it's in. It's in. You don't need to know. <laughs> Then an F chord, uh, fifth string, eighth fret, uh, four, three, and two at the tenth fret. Do that sixth string as best you can, and that's your F chord. Uh, and those are your, all the chords that you need for the intro, which is a C to a G to an F, back to the G. Okay, and that really the only hard part is that that last G chord. I'm gonna go down, release the pressure, and do a quick down up. And then so, that's really the only thing that's it's really even remotely hard about the song, besides the chords. Okay, so. And then you do it four times. That's your intro. It's also your chorus. So it comes back later on. Okay? Uh, we're going to get to the lead parts. I even did the synth solo on the guitar. That's later. Okay? Uh, my verse to the song, uh, I'm going to play... And you do that four times in a row. What you need for that is a C5, which... 8th fret, 6th uh, string 8th fret, 5th and 4th string at the 10th fret. Okay? I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to move it over to an F5 which is the 5th string 8th fret, 4 and 3 strings at the 10th fret, and mute every other string that you're not playing, okay? That's the problem, is you got to mute all those open strings. You go back to the C5, then you, then you do this down and up like that, so... That's the last chord's an A5, which is the 6th string 5th fret, Four and three strings at the seventh fret, and you go just like that. So, C, F, C, A, A, A. So those are all power chords. Um, so we call them C5, F5, C5, and A5. So I'm doing down, down, and then I go on the C5. I go to the F5, down, down. I'm going to go back to the C5, down, down, release the pressure, and as I'm moving to the 5th fret, I'm going to go and do that three times, like that, the A5, so... Really hard to talk and do it correctly, so... times, then you go right into the pre-chorus, and then love stinks. Okay, the pre-chorus chords you need are a G chord, it's like the one you know, uh, sixth string, third fret, but he doesn't play the fifth string at all, um, and then the second and the first string at the third fret, he's going to mute that fifth string, and you go down and down.
Love Stinks. Okay, and then they're off to the chorus. Okay, before I forget, the form to the song is you got your intro, uh, you got your verse, pre chorus, chorus, then you've got another verse, another pre chorus, another chorus, then you have that synth solo. Now, as a rhythm player, you're just going to play the verse chords behind it. Just like that, four times. And then you go right into the pre chorus. At that part, the pre chorus. And then the chorus comes back, uh, and he does it two times in a row, just the way we know it. Uh, and then there's like this interlude which leads to the outro and the interlude outro is just the same thing over and over again So let's talk about that It's basically just the chorus with a variation So you do the chorus one time through just like you normally would like Second time So that's the difference right there so the second time through I did the C, and then the G, and then the F, the two downs, I release the pressure, keep the chord, and go eight, uh, yeah, eight times. So it's uh, 16th notes, and you go like that. So it's two beats, so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, you know. If you have to end the song, because you're live, <laughs> you probably end on a C chord somehow, okay? Uh, that's it for all the rhythm parts. We went over the form of the song, so hopefully uh, that's um, clear enough. Uh, let's go over some of the lead parts. So these are like some of the things in the intro, uh, the organ player's doing this a second string eight to any any hammers to the tenth fret. And he plays the first string eight like that. Oh, sorry, I am off that a little bit. There you go. So that second lick was uh, eight to ten on the second string. It's a hammer. Go back to the eighth fret of the second string, ninth fret of the third. sounds like it just keeps repeating like that uh, that's all you really need for some of those intro organ licks if you uh, if you don't have an organist uh, playing with you uh, during the chorus they just change it slightly same thing and then So that's a second string, eighth fret, and you hammer the tenth. Go back to the eight again. Go back to the third string nine, but then end on that's the fourth string ten. Okay, so okay, and that's also uh, that comes back in the outro. They'll do licks like this. I don't think it really matters that much. They're, uh, they're just nice, tasteful licks that you can play uh, if you've got a lead guy playing and a rhythm guy playing. Okay? All right, let's try that synth solo. Uh, if you don't have a whammy bar, you can just don't worry about it. But uh, I think they got something going on in a whammy bar there. So uh, what you're going to do is I'm going to use my middle finger and slide up into the third string ninth fret, I believe. Yeah. And then the second string eighth fret, I'm going to play right after that. So. Then you can do a little whammy if you want. And then. A little whammy on that one. That second lick was. Uh, I'm playing the fourth string seventh fret. Third string fifth fret. And then I play. Then I go backwards. I play the third string. 
so then I play the third string seventh fret and I bend it. That's good. So I bend it up, just a half step bend. Bring it right back and then go back to the third string five. So then the fourth string seven. I end up on the fourth string five, and then you can do a little whammy. So it sounds like. on the first one. And then the nice thing is he, he pretty much does the same thing again. He does this again. But then he then he hits it uh, the fourth string fifth fret goes up to 17 sorry. So let me play the whole solo. That's it. <laughs> so hopefully that was fun. Uh, I think that's about it for Love Stinks. I wish it was more, but there's not. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Please subscribe. Um, play more guitar. Uh, if you don't have a day, hey, just practice guitar. Why not? And watch my YouTube videos. Thanks.